UI Colors is an upcoming jailbreak tweak that allows you to tint various aspects of iOS. Uh, for instance, it allows you to tint the notification center, it allows you to tint control center, the various apps on your device, and you can do so by means of little sliders so you can customize the colors that you use. So unlike Eclipse, which is a tweak that gave you sort of a night mode, nighttime mode, UI Colors allows you to have custom colors and you can not only do that, but you can have a secondary custom color, you can set a text color, and you can blacklist certain applications so that the effect will not apply to those applications. So it's a pretty robust looking tweak. Um, and like I said, you can customize the colors, which is probably the biggest feature of this jailbreak tweak. It doesn't just give you these canned colors, but you can go in and make your own combinations and make your own themes basically. And you can also apply these colors to springboard assets like the uh, notification center as we sh showed you earlier and control center so whenever you make any changes you'll need to res respring your device like i just did here and you can see any changes that you that you may take place for instance i changed the color a little bit here um, you can see the color is now different on my settings and i can go to other apps and notice that the color has been changed there as well here's the uh the messages now you can see there is some problems there with the uh, the text bubbles they, they just don't look uh, totally right and that's sort of the whole problem with tweaks like this is that it's just not consistent across the various apps and stuff that you use you'll find issues you'll find uh, where stuff just doesn't look right uh, for instance here you get the little white bar for the uh, album and then the rest of it's blue the control center looks fine uh, but it's just not consistent. And that's really the whole theme with these types of tweaks. UI Colors is one of the latest. Uh, it al allows you to blacklist certain applications. So that is nice. So if a, if a particular application just looks terrible with the UI Colors applied, then you can just blacklist it so it won't apply here. So you can see I blacklisted the music app. I'm going to go back and respring now and show you what it looks like with the uh, music app blacklisted here. So... I've set the toggle and I'll just tap the respring button and it is respringing and there we go. So let's open up the music app now and you should see it. There we go. The tint goes away because it has been blacklisted. UI colors does not apply to the music app. So you can see that does work pretty well. Uh, other assets of uh, iOS don't get the tint such as the notes app. You won't see the tint on the textures for the notes app, obviously, uh, and other inconsistencies across the board. Now this color iOS springboard option should, when you disable that, should remove the tint from things like control center, from notification center, but you'll notice when you respring, it doesn't exactly work as advertised. For instance, I just resprung and now I'm going to invoke control center. You still see the tint, the UI colors applied, even though I disabled the springboard um, option in the settings for UI color. So it, like I said, the whole theme about this thing is inconsistencies. It just isn't quite there yet. The, a type of tweak like this would require an insane amount of development, an insane, insane amount of testing, and it would require a developer who is just over the top, like obsessive, like just ridiculously obsessive. So I'm not knocking the developer, Bailey Seymour. He did a fine job setting this tweak up, but it's just not quite there yet. You can find it, or you will be able to find it at least on CDS Big Plus repo for $1.49 once it releases. Let me know what you guys think about UI colors in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.